I think we all, at least once in our life, have seen one of these bears. These are the Care Bears. Originating as greeting cards for American Greetings in 1981, they have looked practically the same since their inception, with the only thing changing being the style they are drawn in. The Care Bears have created many shows over the decades, and have created many toys, most of which were plush toys. The Care Bears have managed to remain relevant throughout all these decades, constantly adapting to the new entertainment trends. But relevancy aside, what exactly are the Care Bears, and what is their history? For a little bit of context, the Care Bears are multicolored bears with a unique image on their stomach which is commonly referred to as a belly badge or tummy symbol. These symbols represent the bear's duty or personality. Along with the Care Bears, there are also the Care Bear Cousins, which are characters who are animals other than bears. The Care Bears live in a faraway place up in the clouds called Kerala, while the Care Bear Cousins live in the Forest of Feelings. The purpose of the Care Bears is to capture and express human emotions, and to help people share their feelings with others. The creator of the Care Bears is the company American Greetings, and if you've already seen my previous video on the history of strawberry shortcake, you might already know of the company. Or you've actually just used their green cards before, what do I know? But in case you've never heard of them, here's who they are. American Greetings is a privately owned American company and is the world's second largest green card producer behind Hallmark cards. That's who they are. So, after the development of Strawberry Shortcake, American Greetings CEO Mori Wees picked out Jack Choja Nikki. I am I am so sorry if I absolutely butchered that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Ralph Schaeffer to lead a separate character development subsidiary, which they named those characters from Cleveland or TCFC. From there, American Greetings partnered with the toy manufacturer Kenner, who wanted to get into the plush toy business with a line of teddy bears. The bears got their iconic stomach symbols when Ralph Schaeffer, after struggling to design the characters, took the mini graphics they had created for their project and flopped them over the bear's stomach. Once they had gotten over the original hurdle of designing the bears, the team brought in Muriel Farion, the artist who helped create Strawberry Shortcake's 80s look, and Elena Kucharik. Again, I, I am so sorry if I absolutely butchered that, please forgive me, to help design the bears. <laughs> Farion designed six bears, creating Greeting Cards theme on their stomach graphics. Later, Elena Kucharik became the primary artist for the Care Bears franchise. Once they had designed the first 9 bears, those being Bedtime Bear, my personal favorite as I too am sleepy all the goddamn time, Birthday Bear, Cheer Bear, Fen Bear, Funshine Bear, Good Luck Bear, Love A Lot Bear, Tender Heart Bear, and Wish Bear. The team realized they needed a bear to balance out the crew, so they created Grumpy Bear. And once the team had finished designing the crew, they moved on to prototyping the bears. Susan Trentle, Muriel Farron's sister and doll designer of Strawberry Shortcake, designed the Care Bear plush which had movable arms and legs and had taken inspiration from the Stife Bear. And by putting a heart-shaped button on the backside of the bears, they became official Care Bears. Once the Care Bears had been finalized, it was decided that the bears would launch simultaneously with thousands of licensed products, such as books, bedding, children's clothing, plates, water bottles, and shampoo too, probably, as well as LPs released by Kid Stuff Records. The first one called Introducing the Care Bears was released in 1982. And after two years and a million dollars in development, the Care Bears were privately introduced to investors in 1982 and to the world in 1983 at New York City's Toy Fair. The Care Bears had an incredibly successful launch, but their success did come with a bit of trouble, as in December 1983, American Greetings lost a copyright lawsuit against Easter Unlimited, importers of a line known as Message Bears. Nevertheless, the Care Bears were a huge hit. And later in the same year, on April 22, 1983, a television special titled The Care Bears in the Land Without Feelings was aired on TV stations in the United States. Along with this TV special, four more LPs were released by Kid Stuff Records. These being The Care Bears Care For You, Adventures in Care Law, The Care Bears Off to See the World, and The Care Bears Christmas. The television special was the first animated appearance of the Care Bears, and later, the following year, another special was released on April 1984 titled The Care Bears Battle the Fusing Machine. This special served as a sequel to The Care Bears in the Land Without Feelings. 
They also released another LP in 1984 titled The Care Bears Birthday Party. In 1983, there was also a Care Bears video game that was planned for the Atari 2600. However, the game was cancelled before beta testing could even begin due to an interesting gameplay and the diminishing video game market. In 1985, the Care Bears movie was produced by the Canadian animation studio Nilvana. The film grossed $23 million and won a Golden Reel Award, making it the most successful animated production outside of Disney. This movie also served as the introduction for the Care Bear Cousins. The Care Bear Cousins are characters who are animals other than bears. They also like the iconic Care Bear belly badge, but they did obtain them at the end of the movie. The crew of the Care Bear Cousins includes Braveheart Lion, Cozy Heart Penguin, Bright Heart Raccoon, Lots of Heart Elephant, Gentle Heart Lamb, Loyal Heart Dog, Playful Heart Monkey, Proud Heart Cat, Swift Heart Rabbit, Threat Heart Pig, and Noble Heart Horse. Wow, lots of heart in there. <laughs> Anywho, later that same year, in autumn, DIC Entertainment released an 11 episode TV series, which brought in three new characters, these being Champ Bear, Share Bear, and Secret Bear. And probably a lot more, but I just couldn't find them. <laughs> just like with the specials, this short series was successful with its young audience due to the combination of cuteness and lessons that surrounded emotional intelligence. In the same year, the Care Bears also released comics. And the comics were made by... You guessed it! Marvel! The comics consisted of 20 issues and were the first comics to be produced by the franchise. The comics featured the Care Bears and the Care Bear cousins helping out children and going against multiple villains. I swear, every time I find out Marvel made comics aside from the Avengers, I'm always so surprised. Because like, I don't think any people expected Marvel to make Care Bears comics. I guess it just shows their duality. In 1986, Nelvana produced another film, Care Bears Movie 2, A New Generation. This movie told the story of the Care Bears and the Care Bear cousins and introduced True Heart Bear to the franchise. The movie grossed 12 million at the box office. A noticeably smaller amount than the previous movie, but nevertheless, the shortcomings of this film did not stop the franchise from racking up 2 billion in retail sales that year. In that same year, Nelbana also produced the TV series, The Care Bears Family, which lasted 3 seasons consisting of 70 episodes. This series also introduced new characters, those being Baby Hugsbear and Baby Tugsbear, Grounds Bear, Perfect and Polite Panda, and Harmony Bear. This same year, Kid Stuff Records released Friends Make Everything Better as a promotion with Trimini Cough Medicine. They also released soundtrack albums for the first time this year. Around the same time the Care Bears family was in production, Sally Industries, the dark ride and animatronic manufacturing company that now goes by Sally Dark Rides, obtained a license from American Greetings and Albana to develop an animatronic stage show based on the franchise. The show was known as Care Bears Kerala Castle. The characters that were included in the show were Cheer Bear, Funshine Bear, Tender Heart Bear, Bedtime Bear, Grumpy Bear, and Friend Bear. Only two shows were built under the agreement, one at Dunia Fantasy in Indonesia and another at Thorny Park in Wildwater Kingdom in the United States. Both shows operated until 1992, and when the license expired, the park installations were claimed to be destroyed. In 1987, Nelbana produced the Care Bears Adventure in Wonderland. The film received a limited release in both the United States and Canada. The film was a box office bomb, only grossing $6 million with a $5 million budget. It's safe to say this film was not as popular as the previously released films. In 1988, the last Care Bears film of the 80s was produced. This movie was Care Bears Nutcracker Suit, a holiday themed television special that was originally going to be released in theaters. But due to the bombing of the Care Bears Adventure in Wonderland, the movie aired on Global and the Disney Channel instead. Between 1983 and 1987, over 40 million Care Bears were sold, and American Greetings printed over 70 million cards during this decade. The 80s saw the birth and incredible success of the Care Bears, and is probably the most iconic generation of the Care Bears. Ah, the 1990s. The decade that began with the end of the Cold War and ended with the retirement of Michael Jordan. And this decade also saw some other cool stuff, like the release of the Titanic, and the release of the first Nirvana album, and the rise of the internet, and the death of a lot of people, but enough about world events. It's the Care Bears we're talking about here, what did they get up to during this decade? Turns out not a lot. <laughs> 
1991, TCFC and Kenner decided to revamp the carriers for the first relaunch of the franchise. The relaunch was done to spread awareness about the destruction of the environment and how to be environmentally friendly. With this new concept, the Care Bears all got a new redesign that featured a belly badge that represented something good about our world. With this new redesign, Kenner also introduced Proud Heart Bear to the game. What's his role? To be American! What the fuck is a I, The concept of this bear is so funny to me. Like what the hell does America have to do with caring about the environment? It's the one that is probably destroying it the most. No, it is the one that's destroying it the most. And he just, like, doesn't fit the theme of the redesign at all. Like, I don't know. I think he was just a really strange addition to the Care Bears. Like, his role is just to be American. <laughs> anyway, this relaunched it poorly, and the second wave that was planned for 1992 was cancelled, which drove the franchise into hiatus for the remainder of the decade. If I had a nickel, for every time a popular 80s franchise tried to redesign in the 1990s and failed, which drove the franchise into hiatus, I have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. The 2000s. Back when low rise jeans were all the hype, when everyone had a MySpace and Club Penguin account, rest in peace, and when your biggest problem was sending an email to 13 people so nothing bad would happen. And hey look, it's the Care Bears, since they're back, let's see what they got up to during this decade. Starting in 2002, Play Along Toys acquired the Toy Master rights to the Care Bears franchise and planned to give the Care Bears a new life. American Greetings relaunched the Care Bears as part of their 20th anniversary celebration. Of course, with any reboot, changes are bound to happen. The Care Bears only had minor changes, such as changing the color of Champ Bear, changing Share Bears Belly Badge, killing Birthday Bear. You know, only minor stuff. <laughs> of course, they also released new plush toys, such as the Care Bears exercise, workout, talking, singing, plush toy, <laughs> the Care Bears as cubs, and the Care Bears as various job occupations. New versions of the Care Bear cousins were also produced with some minor changes. Jumping all the way to 2004 to see the release of the first computer animated movie of the Care Bears franchise. In 2004, Noel Banner released Care Bears during the joke a lot. The movie sold more than 500,000 copies by April of the following year. The movie was relatively successful, as it was the first animated feature of the Care Bears since the hiatus. But I don't know, if you ask me, the movie looks kinda creepy. <laughs> also in 2004, the Care Bears got their first official game, Kerala Jamboree for the PC. And it was an educational game developed by Image Engine and published by Balusoft. The same year, Care Bears Let's Have a Ball was released. It was also an educational game that included 8 minigames and was available for Microsoft Windows and Mac OS. It was developed by Image Engine and published by Balusoft. The last game they released that year was Care Bears, A Lesson in Caring, also an educational game that was released for the B-Smile education system. It was developed by b In 2005, Nobunaga produced the Care Bears Big Wish movie. The movie was released as a direct to video movie that was released on DVD and VHS in the US by Lionsgate Home Entertainment. The movie features Wish Bear as the main character and her wishing star friend Twinkers. The other bears, however, don't like how Wish Bear uses Twinkers' powers frivolously, and so Wish Bear wishes. Damn, that's a lot of wish. <laughs> Sorry. And so Wish Bear wishes for friends who love wishing as much as she does. Because of this, three new bears arrive to care a lot. These being Me Bear, Messy Bear, and Too Loud Bear. Blah blah blah, plot happens, and the movie ends with the bears going on a road trip. In the same year, a Game Boy Advance game featuring the Care Bears was released. The game is called Care Bears Care Quest. It was developed by Serious Games and developed by the Game Factory. The game itself contains 12 different games, each for a different Care Bear. And the last game of this year was Care Bears Catch a Star which was the third educational game of the Care Bears developed by Image Engine and published by Bellusoft for Windows and Mac OS. Just like the previous educational games, this one also features 8 minigames. In 2007, the series celebrated its 25th anniversary with another relaunch. The franchise got a new logo, and along with this new logo, 15 of the 39 bears were represented in this new look. The bears that were chosen to be the focus of the franchise were Cheer Bear, Funshine Bear, Grumpy Bear, Share Bear, and a new addition, Oopsie Bear. 
Along with this new reboot, a new movie was made to introduce the audience to the new look of the Care Bears. The movie is titled Care Bears Oopsie Does It. The movie was developed by SD Entertainment and The Hatchery. It was distributed by Ketum Films in theaters and by 20th Century Fox on TV. The movie serves as a pilot to the Care Bears Adventures in Kerala and thus has no correlation to any of the previous series or movies. The film follows Oopsie Bear as he tries to fix his mishaps and prevent Grizzle, the main villain, from stealing all the other bears' belly batches. These new villains do not include the Care Bear cousins, unfortunately. After the release of Care Bears Oopsie Does It, a series was released that same year. The series was titled Care Bears Adventures in Kerala and is based on the movie. The show ran for two seasons, totaling 28 episodes, and of course, with any new show, there are also new Care Bears introduced. The new bears that were introduced were Amigo Bear, <laughs> Mexican Bear. <laughs> I'm sorry, but at least Strawberry Shark cried a little more with Cafe Ole, okay? <clears throat> Best Friend Bear, Laugh a Lot Bear, and Surprise Bear. The show ran from 2007 to 2008. In 2008, 20th Century Fox released two DVDs titled Grizzly Adventures and Ups and Downs. These DVDs each contain two special DVD exclusive episodes, following the Care Bears as they try to thwart Grizzle's evil plans. Also in 2008, the Cookie Jar lawsuit happened. Basically, Cookie Jar Entertainment, which was a Canadian media production and distribution company, announced its intentions to merge with DIC Entertainment, the international film and television production company. At this time, DIC Entertainment held the rights to the Strawberry Shortcake and Care Bears animated series. The merger was completed on July 23rd, the same day as the finalization of the merger, Cookie Jar Entertainment announced further intention to acquire the Strawberry Shortcake and Care Bears franchise from American Greens. The deal was expected to finalize on September 30th, but up until April 2009, there was no word on the status of the acquisition. Cookie Jar delayed the acquisition due to difficulty in financing it. It was then revealed that Cookie Jar had previously offered $195 million for the franchise. Due to this situation, American Greetings put the franchises back on sale, where a French company, Moonscoop, expressed interest and offered $95 million for a franchise. Then Moonscoop and Cookie Jar competed against each other, which led to various lawsuits, and in the end, American Greetings emerged victorious in the case and retained ownership of the brands. That same year, a Care Bears video game was released for the Beast Mount Baby Infant Development System titled Play Day and consisted of various minigames. In 2009, American Greetings announced that the Care Bears would be reimagined with the launch of a new series, Care Power Team. This series would have seen the Care Bears sport enhanced belly batches and taking on emergencies. This series never occurred, but the Care Power team format was used for three new animated CGI movies. In the same year, it was announced that the master rights to the Care Bear toys had gone from Play Along Toys to everyone's favorite toy company, Hasbro. The Bears definitely bounced back this decade after the 1990s and managed to make a name for themselves yet again. This era is probably the most nostalgic and the one people remember the most. The 2010s. The decade that saw the rise and fall of Vine, rest in peace, the rise of YouTubers, and the birth of many social media sites. And of course, the birth of the iPad kids. It also saw the peak of Tumblr, and with that, it saw the rise of many interesting trends. <laughs> If you did get this mustache tattoo, please comment down below what happened to it. I I need to know, okay? I need to know what happened to it. Did you remove it? You still have it? Please don't, please let me know. This was also the most traumatizing decade as there were a lot of stuff on the internet that children should not have watched, but did anyway because curiosity killed the cat and satisfaction did not bring it back this time. Well, enough about internet culture. What are the Care Bears up to? Before any new shows or series were launched, the Care Bears released three animated CGI movies using the Care Power Team format. The movies were Care Bears to the Rescue, Care Bears the Gimme Festival, and Care Bears Share Bear Shines. In 2011, American Greetings announced that another brand refresh and new television series were in development to coincide with the franchise's 30th anniversary. The central cast was changed yet again and this time focused on Tender Heart Bear, Cheer Bear, Share Bear, Grumpy Bear, Funshine Bear, Harmony Bear, and a new addition, Wonder Heart Bear. This series was titled Carers, Welcome to Kerala. The series was produced by Moonscoop's US studio and premiered on The Hub. Rest in peace. 
on June 2, 2012. The show only ran for one season, totaling 26 episodes. There were, of course, new bears introduced to the franchise, these being Great Giving Bear and Pink a Lot Bear. In 2013, the characters had a collab with the little twin stars from Sanrio, and just look at these! These are fucking adorable! I want one! They have an exhibition as well, I wanna go there! <clears throat> in 2014, Hasbro lost the rights to making Care Bear toys to the toy company Just Play. In October of 2014, when the hub changed to Discovery Family, Welcome to Kerala was cancelled. But fear not, because the following year, Netflix commissioned a new TV series called Care Bear and Cousins. This series was a continuation of Welcome to Kerala, but this time it brought back four of the Care Bear cousins. This being Braveheart Lion, Lots Heart Elephant, Cozy Heart Penguin, and Bright Heart Raccoon. The show had two seasons, totaling 12 episodes. In 2008, an advertisement showcase at the Licensing Expo showcased a new redesign of the Care Bears. It was later announced that Cloudco Entertainment would be making a new television series titled Care Bears Unlock the Magic. This series would be the first to be set in a place outside of Kerala. This time, they lived in a mysterious place known as Silver Lightning which is populated by creatures known as Wiffles. The central cast this time is Grumpy Bear, Cheer Bear, Share Bear, Good Luck Bear, and Funshine Bear. The first episode of the series was released on January 28, 2019, and the series premiered on the Moonbrain Premium streaming service on February 1, 2019. With the release of the new Care Bears TV series, comic books were also created that followed the setting of the series. The comics were published by IDW Publishing in 2019, there were 6 issues published, all containing 28 pages. Now, this wouldn't be a 2010 section without mobile apps. The mobile apps that were released in this decade were Carers Create and Share, Carers Love to Learn, Carers Rainbow Playtime, Carers Wish Upon a Cloud, Rainbow Slides Carers, Carers Care Cards, Carers Fun to Learn, Carers in Amigos in New York City, Carers Music Band, <laughs> and that wraps up the 2010s. I would say this was yet another successful-ish decade for the Care Bears. There were a lot of reboots, but none of these were incredibly drastic. But with this latest reboot, we can segue into the Care Bears of today. Now on to today. This decade started out very rough, but I don't think I need to explain it as we all live through it. So let's just see what the Care Bears are doing. As mentioned in the 2010 section, a new series of the Care Bears was released called Care Bears Unlock the Magic. The series started airing on 2019 on the Boomerang Premium Streaming Service. The show currently has two seasons. Season 1 began airing in 2020 and consists of 26 episodes. Season 2 began airing in 2021 and consists of 21 episodes. Hmm. There have also been bonus videos released from 2022 to April 2023. So far, there are only 3 bonus videos. Of course, with any new reboot, there are new characters added. For this reboot, the new bears that were introduced are Unity Bear and Togetherness Bear. Now, when it comes to merchandise, the Capers have released the usual plushies, some of which I actually own, and the usual clothes, shoes, books, cups, jewelry, nails, onesies, baby diapers, lotion, bed sheets, backpack, shampoo, eyelashes, basically everything that can be made into Capers merch is Capers merch, okay? And finally, a Care Bears Xario collab was announced on November 28 earlier this year. The merchandise they came out with is adorable and I want all of it. And that wraps up the history of the Care Bears. As always, there is probably some stuff I missed, so if I missed anything, please let me know. Also, I didn't go over every single bear and every single like toy that was released because that would have been a lot, okay? That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of toys. That's like, what? That's a lot of toys, okay? And when it comes to characters, the Care Bears didn't really have any drastic changes like Strawberry Shortcake did, which is why I didn't do it this time because honestly, the only thing that changed was just the art style. So that's why I didn't do it like that. So yeah. As always, tell me what your history with the Care Bears is. What generation did you grow up with? Do you own any of the Vintage Care Bears merch or did you ever own any? What bear is your favorite? My personal favorites are Bedtime Bear and Wish Bear. And what do you think of the current Care Bears? Let me know everything down below. Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, and remember, caring is what counts. <laughs>